guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a, sort of a different smoky eye. You'll get what I mean once you see it, but it is different. What I'm doing, I'm just going to go with it for a little while and see how it goes. And please ignore my big red nose. I actually have a cold, so please excuse um, throughout the video if um, my nose drips. Yeah. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy my tutorial. It'll also be about trying to cover up having a cold and getting your skin to look flawless still. But yeah, so even if you're not feeling that fantastic, I can definitely show you how to make yourself look great and perfect for when you want to go out. So thanks so much for watching and I really hope you guys like it. Bye. First step, of course, is to prime using my Coastal Scents Beginning Face Primer. For foundation, I am using my MAC Studio Fix in NC40. And today, to get that added glow, I'm going to use my Face of Australia Mineral Therapy Illuminator in Angel Blush. Using my foundation brush, I am going to apply the angel blush over my entire face just to get that added glow and to get that glittery effect. You'll know what I mean when you actually try. It's kind of hard to show on camera. Next, use, next I'll put on my foundation all over for maximum coverage, making sure that I apply it all over my face. And if you really want a great added coverage, you can apply it all over. But I'm just using the same blush just over the top of the face illuminator. And you'll get what I mean by having an amazing glow once you do it yourself. After my foundation, I'm going to use my Too Faced Shadow Insurance Eye Primer. And I'm again going to put that over my eyelids. And then my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in Transparent 001 to set the eyes before I put my eyeshadow on. For shadow, I'm going to use my Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. Of course, I'm going to put tape on and then I'm going to put Booty Call all over my mobile lid just to add that nice bright white colour. Then I'm going to use my Gemma Kid Catwalk Eye Kit and I'm also going to use this angled brush to get a really straight line using the color 06 Vanity Fair. I'm then going to very carefully draw a sharp um, line and build up the color taking the flick out as well as you can see on both sides. You can still see the white underneath but the darker color I am taking and building up. I'm going to continue to keep building the colour and then I'm going to go back in with Booty Call over my eyelid and then using this blending brush I'm going to subtly blend the crease line upwards for some added shadow. So back to the Catwalk Eye Kid I'm going to use the darker colour in it's called aubergine shimmer to intensify the line and I'm going to use this flat brush as you can see in the crease just above my crease and then intensify that dark line give it that flick and then back to the blending brush to blend in as good as possible although it still needs to be strong and very noticeable Using this angled brush, I'm going to highlight using Booty Call again under the brow bone just to highlight that area and also into the corner of my eye. I'm going to go back and use this flat brush to really intensify my lid and in the corner of my eye because I wasn't happy with how white it was looking and the difference. And now you can definitely tell that there is a strong difference between crease and the lid. I'm also going to keep blending until I'm really happy with that colour, blending upwards. Onto eyeliner, I'll be using my Revlon Colorstay Liquid Eye Pencil. Sorry I didn't show it to you properly, it was a bit fast. I'm going to start from the centre as I always do and building the line and the flick, bringing it to the corner of my eye and using the tape to guide. But I do want an intense eyeliner so I'm going to keep building it up as much as possible and to try and get that straight line. As you can see, I've continued to build it up and put it into the corner of my eye just to really build that look. I really don't like doing eyeliner all that much. I find it really difficult sometimes. Now to remove the tape and fix up the rest of the eyeliner. As you can see, it's quite a straight, strong look and you just need to fix up and clean up the edges and make sure the line is exactly how you want it to be. Next I'm going to bring the colour underneath using the 06 Vanity Fair under my eye and then I'm going to use my Maybelline Big Eyes Black Liner on my lash line and in the waterline to make the look 
even more bold and standing out and then I'm going to use this angled brush to really get that smoldering effect and blend it in and also building the colour up on the waterline of course. Next I'm going to use my MAC Lingering for eyebrows to define and shape them and also just build up that shape and make sure that they're exactly how I want them to, to be big, bold and strong for a big night out. keep those hairs in place I'm going to use my Ico London Brow Gel just to really buff up those eyes and make them strong. Now that I'm done with my eyes for now I'm going to use my MAC Prep and Prime of course as I always do to highlight under my eyes in the upside down triangle. I'm also going to do my nose, forehead, cupid's bow and then I am going to blend it with my blending sphere from Kit for a flawless finish. For concealer I'm using my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in the same spot as my highlighter of course under my eyes, nose, forehead and cupid's bow and then I'm going to continue blending with the same blending sponge of course just to make sure that you really get that flawless look and to look quite contoured because at night you do need that strong look. Next I'm going to frame the face using my MAC Medium Golden in Mineralized Skin Finish on my forehead, chin and cheekbones. Back to my Rimmel um, Pressed Powder in Transparent to set the concealer using this with my H&M brush in the same spot I used my concealer for the, per for the perfect highlight and to just really set the highlight. contour I'm going to use my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil in medium deep matte bronzer and of course I'm going to put this on my forehead, cheeks and on light to lightly contour my nose and really get that great contoured look perfect for photo. Using this blush from Sephora in Rosa Motion I'm going to add a bit of colour to my cheeks, nothing too over the top, it's a great duo blush and I'm just going to really dust that lightly onto my cheekbones. Next I'm going to use my MAC Soft and Gentle Mineralized Skin Finish, one of my all time favourites and this big powder blush just under my eyes just to give that nice colour and of course on my nose and forehead for a real great shimmer. And of course for mascara I'm going to use my Bombshell Covergirl Mascara for maximum lashes. I'm going to use both steps 1 and 2 to really get that great eye coverage. For lips, uh, of course, I'm going to use my Too Faced Lip Insurance Lip Primer. I cannot live without this. Then Bite Lipstick in Lychee for a light pink brown colour as the eyes are the focal point for this look and I don't want to be too bold. And over the top, once I'm happy with the colour of that look, I'm going to use my Lipstick Queen in Saint Pink. I really do love it. It's more like a lip gloss. It doesn't have a super strong colour. And I'm just going to put that over my lips for a great glossy pink effect. A night look isn't complete without my Ardell 110 lashes. I've put those on and then I'm going to use my Revlon Colorstay to cover up any extra things of the eyelashes. Then I'm going to use my NYX Dewy Finish Finishing Spray and spraying that all over the face as you can see. Yay, now I'm done. I really hope you enjoyed this look. It's something different and just make sure you stand out every night. I really hope you enjoyed this look and that you come back for more. Let me know if you'd like to see anything else and I'm really happy with this look so I hope you are too. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.